then go. Previously, I addressed the solar power, and I didn't get too much into wind power, but I'm in the Philippines here, and, and I have solar power, which is reliable, it's effective, and it works every day. Wind here is not consistent, but if you have solar and wind, and you have them balanced, you can make it. In the Philippines here, we have brownouts, which are temporary lack of electricity from Sebeco, but we're gonna start having blackouts because we have coal-fired generators here. Uh, we have no nuclear. We have no oil-fired, it's all coal here. Coal is carbon, as it were. It's not good for the environment. And as the price goes up for energy, then we're going to have more and more brownouts because the grid here is not a grid. This place is wired like a Christmas tree. One thing goes out and the whole island goes out. So it's better to be self-sufficient in the Philippines. And believe me, it's coming to a town near you soon because energy prices are going through the roof and we're going to start having brownouts everywhere. This is the best way to go, a combination of solar and wind. In a future uh, video here, I'm going to show you my, my Lens 2, which is a vertical axis wind turbine. I have horizontal turbines, and I have solar panels on my roof and golf cart batteries. I have batteries here because the government does not give me any subsidies at all. I do not have a... Uh, grid inverter where I can pay into the grid and they have to pay me, I can only save it in batteries as this time. The government just can't afford it. They won't allow it here.